Welcome to Stimetica. What you are about to see is modern medicine on the threshold of a monumental leap. Due to the development of stem cell technology, stem cells offer regenerative, non-invasive, non-rejectable solutions. They will change the face of medicine as we know it. There are many biotech companies in this new medical frontier, but without question, the premier company leading the way is Stimetica. It's the gold standard. Started just six years ago, Stimetica has forged together all the earmarks of success, the right people, the right technology, and the right management team. Dr. Maynard Howe explains further. Stimetica has a technology platform that extracts, isolates, and manufactures and creates large master banks of adult stem cells. It manufactures those in a FDA CGMP compliant facility. It's also licensed by the food and drug branch to manufacture stem cells for human use in various clinical trials around the world. We have over 50 people involved in research and management of our company from the former Soviet Union, uh, some of the Eastern Bloc countries, and some parts of Asia. And we are able to collect this knowledge from our colleagues and associates and bring that to Stemetica when we founded the company in 2005. One of those scientists was our own Dr. Tankovich. We were able to manufacture stem cells mesenchymal stem cells and neural stem cells in the conditions which allowed them to be very powerful and replicate pretty fast without any mutation or changing of the cell's quality and able to migrate and able to synthesize and produce cytokines much faster and in larger con uh, quantities than other cells, which is unheard in the industry today. In addition to that, we have scalability. Now, what does that mean? Scalability means being able to take a single source, a single donor source, and to be able to scale enough stem cells to treat hundreds of thousands of patients with the same level of potency, same level of purity, and the same level of safety from the first stem cell treatment to the very last. Their way of culturing the cells is very important because to be used for multiple different patients, multiple different diseases, they have to expand the cell in large quantity. And current technology does not allow one type of cell to be then many numbers of cells without being changed. Stemetica's way of culturing the cells are completely different. They imitated the conditions of bone marrow in in vitro, and they can produce the cells in large number, large quantity in short uh, passages. In small generation of cell culture, still you can produce large quantity. That's a big uh, technology, I think. So those two things, we took it, uh, the strength of the Stemetica, and we are proud to uh, be a collaborator of them. Stem cells are transforming medicine in various parts of the world. Stemetica is on the leading edge of that transformation. We have the world's largest capacity to manufacture adult stem cells. Uh, we have the state-of-the-art capacity in San Diego, Lausanne, Switzerland, and Seoul, Korea. So Stemetica is really the new science. It's really the new medicine of the 21st century. So these uh, are stem cells donated from Stemetica. We were able to uh, uh, have a good relationship with that uh, company to um, uh, use in our, in our animal model. We used a, a well-described uh, rat model for spinal cord injury. It was actually quite remarkable. Uh, we saw significant functional improvement in these animals both with the cells that were applied directly at the site of injury and also in the animals where, that receive cells distal to the site of injury. It's very exciting work, as Dr. Chang spoke to you earlier about. Uh, uh, what's exciting for us is that, uh, as has been previously mentioned, there's really not many options for these patients. And often when they come into our emergency room in our trauma center, they have multiple injuries. So we can't really address their spinal cord often right away. And this offers great potential in that allows us potentially to inject cells either at the site of injury or distally in the emergency room at the time of injury 
to uh, stimulate both the repair process as well as salvaging those uh, nerve cells that aren't badly damaged but may get damaged as a result of the environment, the injury environment later on down the road. Stem Medica also maintains a relationship with the Burnham Institute. The Burnham Institute did a beautiful research for us showing that cells can engraft in the damaged area. After engrafting, they able to produce electrical signal, but also they could produce uh, substances called the neuromediators, which allow the connection between the neural uh, cells to work together in one network. And we proved and discovered in our stem cells, when stem cells, mesenchymal stem cells, approach the cells which are damaged and stop it dying or revert from the uh, dying process. Stem Medica is also conducting human trials in conjunction with the University of California, San Diego. Currently, I'm the principal investigator uh, on a multi-center study of marrow-derived adult mesenchymal stem cells in treatment uh, uh, for patients with long-term sequelae of stroke. Um, the study is sponsored by Stemetica and being performed at the University of California at San Diego. Uh, what has been found is that the protocols were in fact safe. Uh, there were no uh, instances of immune response uh, or adverse response to stem cell infusions in these patients. Uh, and additionally, to date, uh, no uh, known incidence of uh, secondary tumor growth related to the primary uh, cell type or infusion. We were able to use the information on these 19 patients and uh, submit this information uh, to the FDA to get an IND allowing for uh, a subsequent research study which we're involved in now looking at safety and efficacy of mesenchymal stem cells, specifically adult uh, marrow harvested mesenchymal stem cells in the treatment uh, of patients uh, uh, in long-term recovery from stroke. We uh, commonly deal with injuries to joints and those are, although not life-threatening, uh, certainly threatening to patients' functional status. And we think that stem cells have the ability to regenerate cartilage and if we can diagnose the, the uh, articular problems earlier on in the disease process and treat them with stem cells, we may avoid total hip and total knee replacement down the road. And when you look at the cost to society of just hip and knee replacement, it's Medicare's single biggest expense. And as the population ages and the indications for joint replacement broaden, we've got a huge, huge social cost we have to address. Today, over two-thirds of our medical costs are taken up by uh, patients that uh, are suffering from conditions which, from which there are no cures. The Wall Street Journal, in a recent article, has predicted that within the next five years, the revenue from stem cells will grow to over a $16 billion market. And Stemetica is in a position to take advantage of this growth and really to lead in the area of medicine and stem cell science. It's an accelerating business. It's growing rapidly worldwide. We are in the process at Stemetica of working with countries throughout the world to gain regulatory approval uh, from their governments uh, for us to export ourselves to those countries. With this growth in business, the protocols that we have will improve, and as a result, the medical conditions of people will improve along with that. Stem Medica's biotechnology is targeting conditions in dermatology, wound care, cardiac conditions, neurological abnormalities, and advancing knowledge in ophthalmology. Well, several years ago, as an outside consultant, Stem Medica asked me to independently review some data from studies that they were doing in Europe. Uh, I was impressed in that several patients had uh, Doppler flow studies of both the uh, ophthalmic artery uh, and uh, the retinal artery, which showed increased perfusion. Uh, what this means is that the stem cells positively affected the blood flow to the eye. I've worked with Stem Medica and we're actually starting a uh, clinical trial uh, looking at uh, diabetics and um, one of the real exciting things about the uh, mesenchymal stem cells that uh, Stem Medica is working with is that these stem cells are actually injected intravenously. So they go throughout the body. With this approach you're basically uh, asking the stem cell to find the disease tissue and, and to repair it. This is where medicine's going in the future. This is really regenerative medicine. 
STEM Medica is one of the very important GMP facility uh, in the United States that have the expertise to produce a product that can be applied on patients. Uh, you hear a lot of the science, uh, about, about the science from universities and large universities and so on and so on. Uh, but very few, if any, have a stem cell facility that produce stem cell to be applied in neurology or in cardiology. Our quality assurance and manufacturing team actually visited STEM Medica and reviewed all their data and their standard operating procedure. I have worked with other stem cell companies in Europe and the United States, and I have to say, STEM Medica standards are very advanced. Their level of integrity in terms of management safety, manufacturing, and quality assurance is uh, very outstanding, and I am very happy to work with a company of that caliber. The America has been very open with us, and we have seen how they, they grow during the years, and their standards are the highest. So we feel really, really comfortable, comfortable with them. The professionalism of these people is PhDs in you know, in different fields, not only in the medical field, but everything they need, they just hire the best people possible. And, and that is very important. The real, real standards and qualification comes from FDA, and they got those licenses, which is important for everybody, even for the Mexican government. 